Good morning, boys and girls. I hope you are having a great day. I got up and you feel like you're ready to rock and roll. It is Thursday, can you believe it? And so first of all, let me apologize for yesterday's reading. I don't know what happened, but I know um, that somehow Wyatt's answers to the dolphin page got on everybody's template, so I just went ahead and deleted it. So don't worry about it because there was just something funky happening. I don't know what it was, but just don't even worry about it. Hopefully you got to read the passage at least even if you didn't get to answer the questions. So today I wanted to read a book to you called The Misunderstood Shark, Friends Don't Eat Friends. Yeah, that sounds like pretty good advice. I don't think we should be eating each other. Let's see what happens with this story. Okay. Last time on Underwater World with Bob, Shark ate me. Get me out of here. That's strange. I can hear Bob, but I can't see Bob. Where's Bob out? It's in his tummy, inside the tummy. Okay, so this one says, blarf. Okay, action. So here's the new book, Friends Don't Eat Friends. So have has anybody read the first book of The Misunderstand, Misunderstood Shark? I think we have it in our classroom somewhere. Let's see what happens. Bob, you look different. Where you been? You know perfectly well where I've been. No, Bob, your intro is, hello people, today on Underwater with Bob. Bob's going off script. Bob never goes off script. Uh-oh, so they're supposed to be putting on this TV show. He looks very frustrated. You ate me, shark, in our last episode. I defended you to the people and you ate me. The people are watching again. Uh -oh. Not according to our ratings. Our ratings mean like how many people like the show and how many are watching it. You misunderstood. I didn't eat you. I was just, you know, giving you a tour. Inside his body? You think you want a tour of the inside of the shark? Not me. I don't believe you, shark. But <laughs> I swear on all of the bones in my body. Think of your show, Bob. My show? Fine. Fun fact about bones. Hey, you don't even have any bones in your body. Sharks' skeletons are made of cartilage. Cartilage? That squishy stuff in a person's nose? He's like, you mean boogers? Cool! I swear on all the boogers in my body, said the shark. Hmm. There's something definitely misunderstood here. We all know you ate me, shark. If I ate you, where's your proof? Hang on, I don't feel so good. Cut this video, cut it, cut it. He's gonna, oh no. What do you think he's gonna do? What is it they don't want him to do? Did Shark just plop? <clears throat> I hate when that happens. What did we just see? So look at the jellyfish here. Then after the blarb, what came out?
gross fact about that. It's called gastric eversion. When a shark swallows an object they can't digest, like glasses, when he eats someone, the shark expels his stomach out of his mouth, ejects the object, and then sucks his stomach back in. Sharks can barf their stomachs out? I can't even do a cartwheel. Look at that. You shouldn't have left your glasses in my stomach, Bob. That's littering. Oh, shark, my glasses were only in your stomach because you ate me. Admit it. Apologize. Or, or, or the ocean's not going to be big enough for the two of us. And fun fact about that, 71% of the planet is covered by ocean. But I thought we were friends. Friends, don't eat friends. Well, friends don't make friends feel bad about it. Think you'd feel bad about it if you ate your friend and then had to barf him back up? Ew, not a very good friend. I've never seen shark so worked up. I have right before a feeding frenzy. Feeding frenzy? We have to stop him. You want us to chase the shark? Don't try this at home, people. Goodbye forever, says the shark. Shark swimming so fast. My armpits are sweaty. All eight of them. So who is that that says he has eight armpits? The octopus. Less sweating, more swimming. Great white sharks can swim up to 35 miles an hour. We'll never catch him. We don't have to catch him, Mr. Shark. I'm, learn I'm learning tracky and seal scouts. He's, <coughs> excuse me, he's sulking in the grotto. Go away. This? Is his feeding frenzy? Sugar? Look, he's eating ice cream. You'll get cavities, shark. Actually, shark teeth are coated in fluoride and sharks don't get cavities. Whew, I am so jealous. Can you imagine no cavities? You misunderstood. I'm not sulking. I'm hanging out with my real friend. Um, um, uh, this guy. Stop! Put me down! I'm armed! You don't even know that thing, shark. <laughs> I do too. His name's Sticky. Is not. And he's my real friend. Am not. And he'd never hurt my feelings like you did. I hurt your feelings? You ate me. Drama, I'm out of here. <clears throat> and he tried to get out so fast, what happened? He's like, relax, I'll grow another one. <laughs> They're all like, ah! But a starfish can regrow their arms. They can regenerate them. Shark, I'm sorry I hurt your feelings. I'll try not to hurt your feelings again. I... I accept your apology.
apology? And is there anything you'd like to say to me? Um, Okay, I ate you. I'm sorry. And I'll try not to eat you again because you taste gross. Shark. Uh, I mean, I mean, I mean, cause you really are my friend, Bob. Aw, that's so cute. Hug time. And now we'll have sleepovers and make each other friendship bracelets and... Uh-oh. Shark's stomach. Shark's still hungry. Don't worry. I have a snack. Want some? What's his snack? It's the starfish's arm. No thanks. You're welcome. Goodbye, people. Tune in next time for another episode of Underwater World with Bob and Friends. We'll have more fun facts you can really sink your teeth into. That's a wrap for their little TV show. What did you think of that one? Look at the little seal again at the end. Did you like that one? Pretty cute. Okay, so this is Misunderstood Shark, Friends Don't Eat Friends. It is an AR book, so I hope people are still taking those AR tests. Because yesterday you had lots you could take. Today you have another one. Um, I will make a little video coming up of everything that's going on today. But I hope you guys have a great morning, and I will see you soon. Bye.